Discover the power of adjectives, comparing and contrasting nouns and pronouns. Hello, language learners. Today we're going to delve into an exciting part of English grammar, adjectives. In particular, we're going to look at how adjectives play a significant role in comparing and contrasting nouns and pronouns. Let's unravel the mystery of adjectives together. Before we dive into comparisons and contrasts, let's first refresh our memory about what an adjective is. An adjective is a word that describes or modifies another person or thing in the sentence. Adjectives give more information about a noun or pronoun, helping to specify its size, color, number, and many other qualities. For example, in the sentence, she has a big, red car, big, and red, are both adjectives describing the car. One of the main functions of adjectives is to compare things. We often use adjectives to show how two things are similar or different. There are three main forms of comparison. 1. Positive degree, e.g., big, no comparison, just description. 2. Comparative degree, e.g., bigger, compares two things. 3. Superlative degree, e.g., biggest, compares more than two things. Let's look at some examples. Positive. Tom is tall. Comparative. Tom is taller than Jack. Superlative. Tom is the tallest boy in the class. As you can see, we use the adjective, tall, to compare the heights of different people. Adjectives are also great for contrasting nouns and pronouns. We use adjectives to point out differences between the things we are talking about. For example, consider the sentence, while her coat is old and worn, his is new and shiny. Here, the adjectives, old, worn, new, and shiny, help to highlight the contrast between her coat and his coat. Adjectives are truly the unsung heroes of language, providing depth and color to our conversations. They help us compare and contrast the world around us, making our speech and writing more descriptive and engaging. Remember, practice makes perfect. The more you use and experiment with adjectives, the more comfortable you'll become with them. Keep practicing, keep learning, and as always, Keep exploring the beautiful language that is English. That's all for today's video. I hope it has been helpful in understanding the function of adjectives in comparing and contrasting nouns and pronouns. See you in the next video.